welcome to Let's Do Laundry. Okay, for today's show, I'm actually gonna be talking about soccer. It's more than just about soccer. So last year, my son signed up for soccer. I was already kind of aggravated because he's eight and the age gap was eight to 12 years old. The other team had like these giant 12 year old boys. I was a little bit frustrated, but the main thing that frustrated me was that about halfway through the season, uh, our star player, our best player, starts playing against us. I'll fold those later. <laughs> so halfway through the season, our star player starts playing against us. I have no idea why. He met one of our players halfway down the field, stole the ball from them, and began to kick it towards our goal to score against us. As a mom, you could imagine, I was pretty mad. After about the fourth time this happened, I look over at the coach, and he's just sitting there He's on his phone. I was so frustrated. I was like, hey coach, notice anything? I said our very best player is playing against us. Take him out of the game. And he's like, well, you know, I don't really see what the big deal is because we're losing anyway. I said the big deal is that these kids are trying their butts off and you're allowing someone on our own team to play against us. What God spoke to me is that this is not even about soccer at all. He brought to my remembrance when I received a phone call at the beginning of the season and they said, would you like to coach? Unfortunately, I said, I don't know much about soccer. I don't really think I have the time. I'm too busy. Because I said no, I had to sit there and watch as my son and their team had to suffer. This is exactly what the church has done. You know, my friend told me, if you don't have a seat at the table, you're on the menu. And I think that's pretty true. We've said, we're too busy. We don't know anything about politics. And in the meantime, we've sat by and let people who do not share our same values make laws and policies regarding our families. And all we can do is sit on our hands and watch as our families are gonna have to suffer because of it. You know, the Bible says, when the wicked are in authority, the people mourn. But when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. So two things I want you to learn from this. One, after that incident happened, I made a commitment to my son that I am gonna do whatever it takes, whatever it takes, to learn all I can about soccer. I'm gonna watch YouTube, watch soccer drills. I am going to coach my son's team. I'm gonna step up to the plate. And I'm gonna do the same thing with politics. It's time that we educate ourselves. We've gotta show up to the polls and vote. People like us have got to begin to run for office. I know you think I'm crazy, but I'm telling you, if you don't, it's gonna be like that soccer game. You're gonna sit on the sidelines and wish that you would have said yes. Here at Let's Do Laundry, we're gonna be posting weekly videos. And our goal is that in the next eight months, we could reach 100,000 people and hopefully inspire at least 10,000 new first time voters. So if you can help us out, like this video and subscribe to our channel and encourage two of your friends to subscribe as well. Take this ordinary time and start a revolution.